and I do believe it is time for another gym, finally. So, yes, this is the, um, Veilstone City Gym, which has also been changed, apparently, because now there are punching bags amok. What do you call a punching bag when it's not- okay, I'll shut up. Sorry, I had to do that again. And I'm not entirely sure what the deal is with them. I guess you have to use them to get rid of the tires. So you just sort of push them around and... That one didn't seem to do anything, so I don't know. Let's see, first guy. Karate quad, did he say? Does that imply that there's stars on? Hope so, because that's not very many. Colby, okay, I guess this guy is cheese. And here is one of my new team members, who is going to get decimated in this gym, so that's why I leaded with it. Because I don't really expect it to get far, but I wanted them to get some screen time. So yeah, Pluto. Uh, three, or, yeah, two of its moves are from heart scale, so those things are quite valuable. A few of my other team members also got use out of those. Okay, maybe these things are going to be uh, like morons and not really pose any sort of threat whatsoever. And also I'm hoping that it isn't going to be nothing but Machokes. Because I think that's pretty much how it was in the last games. And I was hoping that they improved it. Oh man. Yeah, I'm probably going to die here. I'll go for Thunderfang because of the chance of paralysis. Because Firefang wouldn't kill it anyway. If it had critical, it would. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, Pluto is, uh... It's like the Roman version of Hades. Uh, and also, it, like, Pluto is Mickey's dog, and it's a dog, so whatever. Uh, who should I use now? I don't want to use my new guys yet, so... I'll go back to Terry, who has now evolved again. And... I'm just going to use Bite, even though it's not very effective, because anything else would be kind of overkill. Yep, a third Machuk. How very original. Uh, Woodhammer or Earthquake? I will go with Woodhammer, because it's neat. It does have a lot of recoil damage, though. That's why I have the Leech Seed on this thing still. It was between Leech Seed and Curse, and Bite, which is going to be Crunch eventually. I decided to keep Leech Seed because then I'll be able to heal damage from the, uh... Okay, now what do I do? Can I go over these pits? No. Once again, it's kind of hard to move... Oh. Uh. Wait, didn't I already move that one? I don't know. Whatever, here's another guy. Uh, I'll just use whatever I have out front. Is that what the other guy said? I don't know. Oh, this guy's gonna be three Machops. Yay, Zoidberg! I love Octillery. It's like, I, I couldn't resist using one. Because it's just... I mean, come on, it's awesome. And it learns, like, a whole bunch of non-water moves, naturally. So it's... And, like, it, it's pretty good sweeper, even though it has horrible, horrible speed. But I don't really care that much about speed. Yeah, I have Bubble Beam on it. I would have Octazooka, just because of the name alone. How can you not love that name? But, uh... It's, like, the same power as Bubble Beam, except it has way less accuracy. And it can, like, reduce their accuracy. I didn't think it was really worth it. So yeah, this thing's still got Psy Beam. I'm thinking of getting rid of that. I'm giving it a... Rock Blast. I don't know which I would rather have. I also have Focus Energy on it, because its ability is Sniper. I think it's a... Yeah, its ability is Sniper, and, uh... Okay, I can't get past this guy. Can I hit this into the tires? But yeah, Sniper uh, makes critical hits do three times the damage instead of two times. So, 
Focus energy kind of works well with that. And it also has Aurora Band, because I need a nice attack. Here's another guy. I'm not gonna use Zardberg again. I'll use Gozer, which I, I forgot to change his name. Because I was kind of in a hurry to get this done. But yeah, like I found a Dawnstone in a pile of mud. So I was able to use that, and I was also able to use several heart scales. So it has a pretty decent repertoire of attacks. Yeah, you better shut her because Psycho Cut is happening. My first time using this move. My first time using Galite, actually. Because I, like, just evolved it. Yeah, this gym. Man, there's really not much to say about it. Eh, that's just another Psycho Cut. It's also got Leaf Blade, Swords Dance, and, uh... I don't even remember what its third move is. I, th I, th I think its last move, I think it's still double team. I was thinking of giving it Brick Break, but I don't really like using TMs. So, I don't know. Okay, more weird punching bag madness. Does this one do anything? Nope. Oh wait, maybe I can like... I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I see, I gotta push it around in like a rectangle. Okay. I like how my little ten-year-old girl character is strong enough to punch these big old bags and send them careening across these things. And there's like no animation for it either, you just sort of step against it and it goes. Okay, so then I can push this one. Once again, I'm playing at a horrible angle, so uh, controlling this and seeing it, for that matter, is kind of difficult. Let's see, who can I use for this next one? I'll give you a shot. Resistance to fighting. I mean, immune to fighting. Can't really argue with that. Yeah, all these Karate Quad guys apparently shout something random. So, ooh, a Heracross. I do not have any flying-type moves, though I did want to turn this guy into the fan form whenever they have that event. So I guess I'm shockwaving it. I would use Thunder Wave, but it probably has Guts, so that wouldn't be in my best interest. Okay, that's not going to do much. So we spam Shockwave. Speaking of Shockwave, uh, am I the only person that remembers Shockwave.com originally being Shockrave? Because I think I'm nuts, but I like distinctly remember that. Okay, another one of these. That should finish it. This is a boring battle. But whatever, at least it's short. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I gave this thing the Shell Bell. It's a pretty terrible item. But for some reason, I always liked it. That was kind of a non sequitur. Okay, what else are we doing here? Can I push this one? Yes. And yeah, I can push this one too. I think. No. Maybe not. I don't know. I can't tell what I'm doing. How do I get rid of this one? Ugh. I really need to be able to see this better. I should probably cut some of this out, because until I figure out what I'm doing, this is kind of lame. Oh, wait, I can get rid of these. Or, can I? Yeah, okay. This is a very strange puzzle. Okay, I can't get up there. And then there's pits in the way, I gotta get rid of that one. 
Come on, move around this stuff. Ugh, I didn't want to do that. Stop it. Where do I go? Do I have to push this one back and hit those? I don't know if there's a stick going up. I can't see it that well. Mmm, no. Well, crap. But, I think I can move it up one, maybe. Or, no. This is confusing. What the hell am I supposed to do? Gym puzzles usually aren't this hard.